What's up you guys, it's me Oleander and today I'm gonna to be doing this. The first thing that I wanna do before we get into all that though is clarify the difference between a pentacle and a pentagram. I don't think it really matters if you get them switched up it's not gonna hurt anybody. Um, it's not gonna change the power of the symbols. This is a pentacle with the circle around it, and this is a pentagram, just a five-pointed star with no circle around it. They're often used interchangeably, but the correct terms for each are pentacle and pentagram. For the pentacle, it's drawn in one continuous line. and each of the five points represent one of the elements. So at the top, we have spirit. On the side, we have water. Down here, we have fire. And over here, we have earth. And up here is air. You might often see it written like this instead in the alchemy symbols. This has been used for centuries throughout history and it's had a lot of different meanings and uses throughout the years. The circle around the five-pointed star represents the universe and it represents the balance and harmony of all five of the elements. So the major uses of the pentacle when it's shown in the upright position is Protection, warding, invoking the elements, banishing for spells and rituals, um, and casting circles, things of that nature. When it's inverted, which is the way that I use it, it represents the triumph of matter over spirit. So spirit's still down here. According to Eliphas Levi, who was an occultist back in the day, one of the OGs, he says that... It overturns the proper order of things, and some consider it evil. Some consider these horns. Um, it was adopted by the Satanists, and some consider it the Baphomet, the seal of Baphomet. Um, sometimes you'll see it with a circle around it and some Hebrew letters. What I use this for, though, is protection and as an identifying symbol. So other black magicians or demon altars can identify me as somebody who works with infernal spirits. Um, I, I use it the same as you would see somebody using the little evil eye symbol, the little blue symbol. I don't use that. Um, I've been taught how to break through those. But as for my version of the evil eye symbol is an inverted pentagram. Um, so if another black magic practitioner watches my videos, they can identify me as not a Wiccan, as somebody who works with the infernal spirits. It's a protection symbol for me um, as somebody who works with the demonic. All right, and as far as how to use it, there are a lot of videos on how to use the pentacle for the lesser banishing ritual, so on and so forth. What you could do is lay this down as the base of your spell. So this would be your base. Of course, don't use a whiteboard. Use something made from the earth. That's what I suggest. But this is just an example. If you're working with a spirit or your ancestors or something, use something that represents them. Um, I wouldn't do this type of spell because I'm working with a demon and this upright pentacle doesn't work with them. So you could use 
something that represents your deity or your ancestors or something like that. Use water. I'm not talking about water from your faucet. I'm talking about water from nature. A candle for fire, that would work. Something from the earth, so dirt, flower, whatever you, whatever you choose, earth. And air, you can do incense or something like that. Use something that represents all five. And then you do your spell as normal. You can invoke each of these independently. And there are ways to do that. You can look that up yourself. Um, or you can use all five of them together and do like a cleansing spell for your house. You can do any sort of spell that you want. Just use this as your base. So I hope that explained a little bit about it and I will see you guys next time.